How are you pushing the open world gameplay with this title? We are expanding on what has been created on Assassin's Creed 3. So for instance, in Assassin's Creed 3, you had the forest where you could actually, you could actually climb into the trees and, and run around. And now we merged the, uh, the cities with the trees. So actually it creates new layers of navigation and it's even more fluid to jump from one building to the other. And uh, also it, lets, it gives even more opportunity to stay above which is a very good uh, position in terms of uh, being a predator in uh, Assassin's Creed. That's for the ground. And then, yes, in terms of new opportunities, the naval creates a brand new open world where you can actually uh, be on the sea for, for hours and looking for treasures, plundering ships, uh, harpooning uh, whales and, and stuff. Whales. Yes, we have harpooning. <laughs> can you talk about the naval warfare in, in this game? Naval warfare. Uh, we built upon AC3 again in terms of naval but we tried also to make it more accessible so for instance we changed the controls to ensure that uh, it was as easy and efficient as uh, battling on ground you know on ground you were making some cool moves but in terms of inputs it's not as demanding as, as some hardcore games we tried to apply the same philosophy on the, on the naval combat to make it really fluid and easy to manipulate uh, the big new uh, feature is the boarding, the ability to, uh, uh, after disabling a ship, board it and send your crew and yourself on the other side to try to, to capture the ship. Uh, in AC3 it was done, uh, in, um, in AC3 it was a ship battle, cutscene, boarding, and now it's seamless, ship battle, you board, you can shoot during the boarding, and then you jump on the, on the ship, you can climb the mast and look at the battle. And it was one of the most, um, uh, that was one of the biggest feats of development to create this uh, boarding system where actually, you know, you have two planes on water, on physics that is unstable, that gets connected with uh, 30 characters jumping around. It's, uh, voilà, it's one of the best feature we have. How much customization is there with the Jackdaw? There is a lot of vanity customization for the ship and in terms of pure gameplay uh, value, you can uh, modify the hull, having more cannons, buying new weapons like the Mortar. Uh, and uh, yeah, there is enough customization for at least 40 hours of gameplay. What are you doing new with the multiplayer gameplay experience? In terms of multiplayer that has been developed in uh, Annecy, uh, they uh, went further ahead with what they developed uh, on, on previous AC. And the two new uh, modes, and the two new exciting features, one is called Game Lab. It will enable players to create their own modes and mix the different variables and parameters to, uh, to share with their friends. And uh, the uh, second one is they build up, they built on what they did with the wolf pack. The wolf pack was the cooperative mode where at PVE you were with players against AI and they uh, built upon it and uh, created actually a storyline and more levels. What role does Hollywood talent like Kristen Bell play in bringing this game to life? This time we have a somebody that is working on Game of Thrones, but I won't be able to tell you his name right now. <laughs> Charles Vane, the guy who's playing, who's playing Charles Vane, the, 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 the pirate, is from uh, Game of Thrones and he has this deep voice. And I know that he's also playing on some TV shows in the UK.